But what we want to do is we want to look at this. And in this example, we see that the arcs are exactly the same. Right? Now again, what do these arcs represent? The arcs represent the distance from here to there and from here to there. Right? That's what those arcs represent. And where do those come from? They come from that central angle. Right? If that's 85 degrees, then this is 85 degrees. And that's 85 degrees, right? They come from the arc. The measure of the arc comes from that central angle. But anyways, regardless of that, it doesn't really matter. We talked about if chords are the same length, then the measure of their arcs is the same length, correct? So if the measure of the arcs are the same length, can we then reason that the measure of the chords are the same length? Yes. So since these are the same length, the two chords are also equal. So since these two chords are equal in measure, I can say 4x plus 3 is equal to 5x minus 1. Now I just need to use algebra to solve for x. So what I'll do is I'll subtract 4x on both sides by using the subtraction property of equality. 3 equals x minus 1, add 1, add 1, 4 equals x. Done.